welcome back to my channel today we will be sailing to amber it's not the easiest sailing but we'll get through it and we'll just try to enjoy it every bit of the way and i hope you enjoy this video let's go welcome to memorable sailing channel crossing the panama canal was the starting of our journey around the world we sail to discover the world and to enjoy the people that we meet in the different countries. That is my husband Reg trying to be funny and that's me trying to balance on the coconut tree. This is year 2020 and the starting of our new adventure around the world. We are currently in the French Polynesian and we enjoy every minute of it from playing volleyball to sailing to the tour motors, hiking with friends, and spending amazing time with my husband, Reg. Join our sailing family by subscribing to our channel. Let's get back into this video. Hello, guys. Good morning, good morning. We are currently leaving Wayag, heading to our next anchorage, and the weather is not at its best. It's shitty. She's relaxing over there. In Bebe. It's a 34 meter. Our rope was stuck around our lights, so we had to go up there and unhook it. <laughs> My little monkey <laughs> climbing, climbing, climbing. He did it. Now we can continue. We have to watch, make sure it doesn't doesn't happen again, huh? Of course, Trying to continue putting up the sail. That's what we were doing before. So let's do that. So the sail is up, next we do the Genoa. So 
So we put up the sail and the wind is shit. We can only get in five knots of wind, which is not a lot to sail. It is so hard to sail in Indonesia because there's never wind. We've been motoring, motoring, motoring. And the thing about it is, fuel is so hard to get. Uh, when we arrive um, in Sarang, we fueled up 300 liter worth of fuel, which was good. Um, but what wasn't good is that we have to use jerry can. And at that time, we were able to borrow some jerry cans. We don't really carry jerry cans on the boat, Reg and I, because we have a big fuel tank. So we don't need to have a bunch of jerry cans. And the next place that we're going to fuel up, we're going to hardly have any jerry cans. And that's not fun. I hate fueling up using jerry can because it's a lot of work to bring them all on the boat, you know, and they're heavy. And uh, it's not the most practical way of fueling up. I'm hoping that the next place I'm gonna be in, we can just fuel up, just go into the dock, tie up our bows, and add fuel to our <laughs> boat because I don't want to be fueling, fueling up all the time with jerry cans. So we'll see how it goes. So guys, the wind is picking up and we are currently sailing. So that's super for us because we don't have to use our motor. We can save our fuel. We're going. Uh, we have 14.3 knot of wind, so we're going around five knots, which is perfect. We. I don't know the last time we sailed since we've been in Indonesia, so I'm really happy. So we just have to watch. We are. We have. We're going like. Uh, we have 20 for another commands to go to until we arrive at our destination so yeah so far so good the weather is not looking as good though but if we can sail i'm happy Getting ready to take down the sail. Get in there. We need to go up front and pull because it didn't come down all the way. that we're going at is not in the guidebook so that's why we are very careful um, because they don't they didn't really mention anything about it and we don't know how safe it is to go in so we have to take our time <laughs> it's always nervous going into a new anchorage um, not knowing uh, what's around because the charts here are so bad What's over there, current? 
It is like, is it currents over there? Huh? How deep?
our other flag was so ripped and ugly so we had to put up a new one so now we have a new one up so that's good good morning guys so after sailing for three days we are about 20 nautical miles from Ambon which is our location that we are going to it's been a little rough um sailing but we're almost there i'm always happy when we can arrive at our location we're not there yet so we're not completely safe and secure because until we're there safely and anchored we're not there yet. we're not there yet so we're still on our way Six thirty in the morning. I'm just feeling happy. I'm picking up some internet, so I'm reaching out to my family and making sure that they know that I'm okay because I haven't had an internet in a while since I've been in Raja Ampat and most of the places they don't have internet. But so I'm happy to have some internet. So I'm just like talking to my mom and all that. So that's good. Just taking my time going in and looking out because you have to be looking. have to really be looking here because you have to know what's going on. And yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys what's going on around me. That nothing much, just show you guys my scenery. Yeah. So as you can see, that's the island over there. We're not yet. Uh, at Ambon to continue going that way. Ambon is somewhere over there. I am just always happy when I am about to arrive at my destination after sailing for a long time because I don't know about anyone else. But long sailing sometimes have a toll on me. You know, I don't really particularly like sailing for days and days and days. But it's part of the journey. It's part of arriving somewhere. And if you you're gonna travel by boat, you have to do some long sailing. You know, that's that's part of it. But I don't particularly like the long sailing. It's it kind of gets to me after a while.
Ambon and we are on our way to a fabric place so we can repair our sail. This is how it is. It's This is life in Ambon, Indonesia. Very hectic. Very crowded. So in. So in. 